You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Rogers versus Stone. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Ms. Rogers, you say after an encounter with your elementary school sweetheart, you ended up pregnant. You say the defendant has gone through great lengths to deny he is the father of your son, Christian. Mr. Stone. Yes, Your Honor. You say Ms. Rogers is promiscuous and it was only a casual fling. You say she has even slept with some of your friends and therefore it is impossible you are the father of her baby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rogers, you say there's no doubt Mr. Stone is Christian's father. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. I met him in elementary school. We was friends. I kind of moved away after a while. We was close friends, but, you know, we never kept in touch because we were so young. And one day, after some years, years of being apart, I was at my friend's house, or well, I was at her boyfriend's house, and we were chilling, and he walked through the door, and I'm like, really? Of all places, he had to walk into where I'm at. So we ended up, we was talking, laughing, joking about old times, how you been, catching up and stuff. And uh, we went back to my friend's house with her boyfriend and we had sex that day. And we left her house and went back to his house and had sex again, a couple times. And after that, it's just like, we repeatedly, we would hang out, have sex. And it went on about like a month. Once I found out that he had a girlfriend, we stopped talking. You had no idea? I did not have no idea that he had a girlfriend. He told me about a girl that he had talked to, but he stopped Justin, talking Honor, to her. When I walked into that house, she was at one of my friends' house. And when I walked in, she was already hooked up with one of my friends. I was not so, hooked up with nobody. When, when he walked in the door, I was sitting I, at the table. On, on his lap. I was not on nobody's lap. When, I when walked, he came in the door, I was, sitting, I in, I was sitting at the table. The friend that eyes. he was talking about was in the kitchen. I was not sitting on nobody's lap. Your Honor, when I walked in, we caught eyes. She was on his lap. And I was not like on I his said, lap. we ended up talking. He we, could, you we could, separated he could make you believe I was, I mean, I was not One at a time. We separated from everybody. We started talking. Yes, we ended up leaving from one of my friend's house, went to her friend's house. We did have sex, but we had a condom on. No. When we left that house, we went home, went to my house. We had a condom on. Then... We had a condom on, yes. In the bathroom at my friend's house, yes, we had a condom on. Yes, the first time we went to his house, yes, we did have a condom on. Not every time I had sex with him, we wore a condom. Not every time. Did you have unprotected sex one time, with Ms. Stone? Honor. It was one not one time, time. And that was in the threesome. It was not, it was not one time. It was in not the one where? Time. In the threesome between me, her, and... <laughs> We had a threesome. The night I found out that he had a girlfriend, we had a threesome. Uh, Jerome, at first I thought he said in the freezer. <laughs> 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 then I realized he said in a threesome. I don't know which one caught me by surprise more. <laughs> so you didn't use protection in a threesome with Miss Rogers and another... The other girl was my girlfriend. That what? he did not tell me about until that night. He did not tell me that this girl was his girlfriend. Yes, he said that he was in her, that he had, was talking to a girl before, but he told me that right then he was single. I would not have kept sleeping with him That's if I was, that I he was in a I relationship. I, I'm not that type of person to sleep with somebody in a relationship that I know was in a relationship. But you were still he, talking he, to he, one of my friends. I was not talking to nobody when before I was when I was after. talking to him. When I was talking to him, it was just me and him, and we was never together. We was never in a relationship. It was just friends having sex. That's it. His other friend, I knew him about but, the same time as I long, known him. He just don't know that. He does not know how I know these people, but he keeps trying to make assumptions. I, I knew him as a friend. I did not sleep with him, so after me and him had stopped talking, I did not sleep with that boy during me and, me and him having sex. I heard that they did we did the not, before. We did not have sex until after I had stopped talking to him. I heard it happened the day before, uh, <sighs> three days after, and then... No. Uh, I never slept with the boy. When she I never slept with no boy's she, lap. He's a liar. Later, when he's she a liar. Talk, she was One at a time. Liar. One at a time. So, your friends were talking, Mr. Stone. Yes. And you all basically compared notes? No. It, <laughs> no, what happened Probably was so. that... All lying that together? I told, like, I told him, like, I knew Destiny for a while, you feel me, so... I was like, you talked to her? He like, yeah, I talked to her. We did this, we no, did that. So I'm no, like, oh, really? No, you feel me? So I'm like, when was no. this? He broke it down to me no. like, yeah, we did it the uh, day before. No. Then, uh, I want to say three days after. And then when she uh, told me she was pregnant, he want to say they did it 
No. Twice? You're saying that isn't true. It's not true. At the time you were sleeping with Mr. Stone, were you sleeping with anyone else? No. The whole time that me and was having sex, I did not sleep with nobody else. All these boys in his little friend group that he has, I've known a lot of she them a t- very almost, long time. She told me she was time. in a relationship already. I was in a relationship. I have just got out of a relationship. I was not with nobody when I was with him. But were there any benefits with the other friends? No. There was no benefits with no other friends until That's after I, I stopped heard. talking to him. He can hear whatever he wants to. All them boys was liars. You told I know me yourself I've that known... you would have an encounter before we even had the first encounter. First of all, when he walked in the door, the day he came over, me and his friend was talking. We was catching up too. I was not sitting on his lap or nothing. We, when he came, we all went in the basement because the boys was playing the games and we were talking. We was catching up. I went, to, I went and told my friend, I'm like, because she didn't know I know him. Nobody in the house knew I knew him before he walked in that house. And we was all telling people, oh, we went to school together. I didn't... I was not sitting there. But nobody, listen, nothing. listen, Ms. Rogers, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I mean, even if you were sitting on the friend's lap or you weren't, at the end of the night, you were sitting on Mr. Stone's. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I want to understand the facts surrounding this situation. How'd you find out you were pregnant? I went to the doctor to get my birth control shot because I know I'm having sex, so I'm like, I need to go because I don't want to have no more kids. Anymore? I have twins. 18 years old with three children? Yes. Okay. I didn't want no more kids because I had just gotten something to college. Everything was looking up, so I was like, I I wanted to, like, put the cap on before anything happens, not knowing that I was already pregnant. So it was like, I was scared. I was scared. I was scared. I really was, because it was like another baby. So I called him and told him I was pregnant. She never, we never had that conversation. No. Not once. When he... What happened was, this particular day, I was in the car with one of my friends. They pulled up on me, and he said he had to go pick his girl up and her, which is her best, her best friend. We get to them. We drop him off at the hospital. Imagine, I don't know what we doing. She haven't said nothing. Matter. We Duh. did drop her off at the hospital. I did not know not one thing. We dropped him off and left. When we came back, no. she still haven't told me she was pregnant. N- I didn't know nothing no. then. And that was early, like, I want to say three, four months in. I didn't know nothing. When she walked up and said she had to tell me something, but didn't tell me right then That's and there. That's not what happened. And then waited it's not. a month or two later to finally come out. So you're dropping her off at the hospital. And you don't know why. Yeah, I wasn't driving. I was in a passenger yeah, but... seat. My friend came to me. We were chilling, talking, and then he said he had to go pick them yeah, up and drop them off. So he knew I we rolled with him. He saw the ultrasound pictures when I came out the hospital. He looked at them. No, I did not. He held them in his hand and looked at them. No, I did not. Picture of my ultrasound. It said, you're having a boy. I didn't find out I was pregnant so I was four months pregnant. I give, no. I give, I give Ray, that to my him. My friend sent me a picture I give him it. that, okay? I'm in the car with my friend. She had, they had been over my house. They was like, I said, can you take me to my ultrasound? She said, okay. I was already in the car when we picked him up. We picked him up from his school because he was walking his sister to school. And then we went and then we went to the the ultrasound and he sat in the car with his two friends and we and my best friend went up there to the ultrasound to get a dead. When I got back in the car, I sat next to him. I sat next to him. And he, and he looked at the ultrasound pictures and he said, damn, he got a big ass head. That's what he said. Wait a minute. So... I don't remember you showing me the ultrasound pictures. He said it. He said it. And so you don't remember any of this, Mr. Stone? No, I remember that day exactly. He got got amnesia since we here. He don't remember none of this now. Do you remember ever seeing ultrasound pictures of the baby? Yes, through a text message that I got through a friend. So at what point did you determine the baby was Mr. Stone's? When that day I went to that ultrasound, I thought I was having a boy, and that lady told me when my baby was conceived. Okay. So at your ultrasound, you got the date. The mm-hmm. conception the days don't even add up, Your Honor. What did they say? The lady said that I got pregnant during the, during the beginning of November. Okay. Is that when you were intimate with Mr. Stone? Yes, that was part of the time I was out. No, Your Honor, we were intimate we between intimate the 17th at... and the 22. Duh. We had... 22nd, because it was... My birthday is the 24th. It was the week before my birthday. We had been having sex for almost a month. Okay? We has we started oh. having sex at the end of October towards the end of November. So you say for an entire month. No. Mm-hmm. It was the beginning, like the mid November. And then like I, I said, can show from you... the 17th to the like 17th to 22nd, and then the baby was born. I can show you August 25th. He can even say that. Even if you want to say that, my baby was still conceived in November. What is that you have, Miss Rogers? I have a calendar and let me see that, please. The, Jerome, will you hand me that evidence? Sure. It shows you when my baby was conceived, no matter where you want to put it at, and when he was and when he was born. 
This is a calendar that states that baby Christian is born on August 25th. I went my whole, I went over my due date because Christian was a very big baby and my body mm. wasn't trying to get Definitely him to come out. Definitely didn't hear about that one either. You say you were intimate with Mr. Stone mm -hmm. in November. Mm-hmm. And that's when the doctors told you you conceived. Mm-hmm. And so, Mr. Stone, you admit that you were intimate with Ms. Rogers in November. You say it's between the 17th and the 22nd. Yes, and the last encounter was, what I want to say, about the 22nd. No. Okay. Why are you so convinced you aren't or can't be the father I'm... when that falls right within the window of conception identified by the doctors? Because of the fact of, of her exact words. You can't tell nobody it's a possibility. You can't do that. That, that have your mind wondering. And then other, other information that I, I conceived that I know that was true. So you do know that it's a possibility. You just don't believe it for certain. Deep down inside, I don't think it's my child at all. This is the first time he's saying this. Let me tell you something. When me and him talk, this is his baby, okay? This is really? his baby. He says, my baby. He does not say the baby. He says, my baby. I have test messages of him saying, the I baby want... Got four what can I get? I'd like my to baby. see those. Jerome, will you hand me these... Sure. ...text messages? The messages say, from Mr. Stone, what are you doing? And you say, sitting here... And Mr. Stone says, oh, okay, I miss Nugget. You write, okay. And then you write back, Mr. Stone, when can I have my baby? So if you didn't think the baby is yours, why are you calling my baby now? Because this at this time, I was already attached to the baby. And I told her that. Why? Because I grew up without a father and I know the, the predicament that he in, he yeah. might grow up without one. Too, and I went like that. Listen, now so I, I, I tried I, to step up and be a man about the situation. I never and, try, My thing is, I always still getting, I always pushed down saying I'm being wrong and I'm doing everything right. I told right. him that I don't fault you because I did say that it might be a possibility. I never fought him for that. So it was like I did like tell she did him. Everything on me I did. The baby was born. I did tell him that I don't fault him for how he feels. But he has not came to me since my baby had been born, really saying that he really felt like this wasn't his baby. His family members that had came over said, did my baby look just like him? Well, Miss Rogers, you are saying now that you told him there's a possibility there could be someone else, but you came to court today saying you know for sure. I do know for sure. I said then in that conversation that it might be a possibility because this was around the audience times when I, when I found out I was pregnant because I didn't know exactly how far along I was. When I went, the first found out I was pregnant, I didn't, like, they didn't, they couldn't tell me. I did not get an actual ultrasound until, like, probably a month and a half later. Because after I left that, after I left there, I, you know, I had other stuff that I had to get so rid of the baby. So why didn't you come straight to me and tell me that you thought you was pregnant I, with my baby and tell her, instead I of having somebody you. else come to me? I my told friends you myself. Came to me. I called no, him. My friends I called came him. to I me called first. Him. I, I was, my mom had to go to the children's center with, with my sisters, and I sat there while they was in the back, and I called him, and I told him. I said, That's I'm lie, pregnant. Honor. I said, I'm pregnant. So you're saying uh, you did tell him to his face? No, I was on the phone yeah, with him. On the phone. And you say, Mr. Stone, you heard it from somebody else. My friends called he me didn't first. Hurt All right. Somebody else. So I, I don't think they've agreed on one point today, Jerome. <laughs> I, I, I mean, not one thing. I, it's as if you all were in two different galaxies <laughs> and somehow ended up with a potential child. I agree with you. A everything you say. I don't think they agreed on anything but the threesome. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. And that's not a good thing. No. I mean, and that's why we're here today. Yes, ma'am. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. Yeah. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Rogers versus Stone, when it comes to seven-month-old Christian Rogers, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stone, you are not the father. Told you I ain't got lied about nothing. I know what I did. I paid for extra. It's cool. Not cool. Child, it is cool. Not, you proved what you wanted to. You proved that I'm such the whore that you think I am. You proved it. It's not Thank that you. I wanted to you know for a fact. Go, I wanted to know for a fact that my child did not. You proved it. You like proved I'm such the whore. I don't no know who my baby is. You proved it. Period. You proved your point. You're good.
Do you know who Christian's biological father is since it is not Mr. Stone? Yeah. But he doesn't want nothing to do with me or Nugget, so... So, what we have to do now is very important. I want you to understand that just because you have the children, and I know they're young now, I don't want you to feel like you cannot become something. Your children are blessings, and you're still worth every opportunity that comes before you. Getting yourself an education is going to be key. You're gonna need that. Mr. Stone, I know. And I tell you what, you all used to be very close friends. Miss Rogers probably can use a friend, but a real friend. Not one that's getting her into situations that are gonna, that's gonna negatively affect her future, but one that will build her up and remind her what's possible. Always and, been here for her. Always. I just wanted to know the truth. Good. I want you all to get back to just being friends, real friends, platonic friends. And Miss Rogers, use your village. Mr. Stone loves your baby. And you never know how he can be of help to you. Whatever you need, make sure you check on her, okay? I wish you all the very, very best of luck. Court is adjourned.